Hi, I'm Danny with Great Outdoor Provision Company. Um, we're just going to take a moment to talk about canoes, um, how to get the boat from your car to the beach, how to get in and out of the boat, how to launch the boat, and just a few basic strokes. We've already talked about car topping, but now we need to go over a few methods of getting the boat from the car to the beach. The first method is the traditional portage, and the way you do this is you rest the boat on your thighs and then in one motion you go from your thighs to your shoulders resting the center portage yoke just behind your neck. Once you get to the beach you just reverse the method. Go from your shoulders to your thighs and from your thighs gently lay the boat on the beach. Getting in a canoe can be a little tricky. What you'll want to do is make sure you place your feet in the center of the boat and keep your weight low. Um, keep your hands on the outer gunnels and then walk to the appropriate seat. Another way of getting the canoe from the car to the beach is to use the paddle boy wheel method. You probably already learned this in Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, but the most important canoe stroke is the J stroke. That's going to help you paddle efficiently and paddle straight. The first thing you want to do is keep your paddle shaft vertical. Plant your paddle forward and pull back to about your hips and then twist both wrists downward. That's going to form a J pattern in the water and it's going to keep your boat paddling straight without you having to switch sides. There are some times you're going to have to paddle on the opposite side of the canoe. That's called a crossover stroke. The most important thing to remember is not to switch hands but to keep your hands in the same position and just move the paddle to the far side of the canoe. There are some times you're going to need to paddle the canoe in reverse. You start this by twisting your upper body Plant your paddle at the stern of the boat, push forward, and finish the stroke with a slight J. The sweep stroke is an important turning stroke. You want to plant the paddle as forward as possible with slight angle on the blade and then form a very pronounced D pattern away from the boat all the way to the stern. There may be a time that you need to use a brace stroke in order to keep the canoe from flipping. You do this by using the back face of the blade to slap against the water. You may want to practice your sculling stroke. This will allow you to move the canoe sideways just in case you want to approach another canoe or it's a good way to approach the shoreline. What you'll want to do is keep your paddle shaft as vertical as possible and then feather the blade back and forth and you'll find that the boat will easily move sideways. That's basic canoe tips to get you started. It is in no way substitution for formal instruction. Enjoy your day on the lake.